Hello everyone, good day, this is Mark Anthony Donacona, and for this video, I will present to you on how to perform the girt measurement. So girt measurement is a method to know all the changes in body dimensions over time. So girts are circumference measures at standard anatomical sites around the body. It is measured with a tape, and it can be used in determining the body size, body composition, and to monitor the changes in these parameters. So for the equipment, you only use the tip measure. Remember when you have to measure the grip measurement, so make sure that um, your subject is in stand straight position. And for um, the measurement, you need to use the centimeter. And always take note that when you use the tape measure, um, it should not be too tight or not too loose. For example, here. So first, we have the chest. So first, you will locate uh, where is the breastbone or the sternum. So here, here is the sternum. And then, raise your both arms. And then, using the uh, tape measure, um, you need to uh, measure this, this one like this and then make sure that your um, tape measure will be um, across the nipple. So there and take the measure. The next is the right upper arm. So it is measured with midpoint of the bony point of the shoulder and the bony point of the elbow. So here. And then take the measure. Next is the right forearm. So um, it is taken along the form of forearm at the largest point of the circumference. So make sure to locate what uh, where is the largest point of circumference. So here. And then take the measure. Next is the waist. So make sure that. Um, your tape measure should be horizontal um, and not uh, in slight, slightly uh, position, slightly position. Okay. Breath in and breath out. So take the measure after the breath out. Next we have is the hips. So it is measured at the level of the largest protrusion of the bottom. So here. Largest buttocks. So here, so take the measure. So measure 10 inches above the patilla, or the patilla is also called as the bone in the knees. So 10 inches here, so here, and then take the measure. Measure the right calf. Measurement. So, measurement is taken along around the bulky area of um, the calf and then take the measurement. In getting the waist to hip ratio, you should divide the waist to the hips. For the waist to hip ratio interpretation, so a ratio greater than 0.80 for women and greater than 0.95 for men may put these individuals at risk for a number of diseases.